Hey everyone, this is Dr. Daphne here at HealthFit, and today I want to go over some stretches for your lower back specifically that'll help to kind of open up your back if you're feeling any kind of discomfort. So, first things first, let's start on the floor. The first one I'm going to do, I'm going to have you lay on your back, and then you're going to let your knees fall to one side and kind of see how that feels. And if you want more, you can bring your arms out to the opposite side, and you should feel a pretty good stretch right along this line here. And for all stretches, ideally you want to hold it for about 30 seconds, about two times on each side. So if you want to, take a couple deep breaths in and out. With every exhale, just feel like you're rotating a little bit more towards the other side. It should feel pretty good. And then you're going to switch, flip your knees over this way. And again, 30 seconds, two times on each side. While I still have you here on your back, the next one we're going to do, you're just going to bring your both of your knees up to your chest. And you're just going to hug them. And ideally, you can rock side to side if you need to, kind of play with front and back as well and see what feels good. For this one, you can hold it here for about a minute or, again, 30 seconds twice. If you were done, just hold it for 30 seconds and then reset and then come back in again. Completely up to you and what you feel is comfortable. When you're done with that, you're going to sit on up, and then we're going to get into a child's pose position, which means you're just going to have your feet or your knees nice and wide. If you feel comfortable and narrow, that's fine too, whatever works for you. I prefer wider because I can just kind of sink into my hips. Hit sit on your heels, and you're going to walk your arms forward like this, child's pose. So with this, I want you to feel like you're lengthening, like there's a string pulling your pulling from your head to the front of the room and are shaking your hips to the back of the room. So it's kind of pulling you in two different directions and you get a kind of length. So here, I like to take three deep breaths in and out. And with every exhale, I would like to think longer and let my back relax more so I kind of feel more and more of that gentle stretch. And then the fun thing about child's pose, you can kind of go side to side. So I want you to walk your hands over to one side and you're going to reach my left hand, you're going to go towards that angle of the room. And then with the other hip, you want to make sure that the anchor is down onto that heel so you're not lifting up to try to stretch more, but you're actually just anchoring and lengthening. With every exhale, think longer and lengthen. And then walk your hands over to the other side. Same thing here. Make sure, again, you're anchoring that hip down and reaching for the upper, upper arm. You should feel a pretty nice opening through the side body over here. And then walk it back to the middle. And that should feel pretty good. So another stretch that I like to do when I'm standing up and I need a break from my computer and walk around, I'll go find a countertop or something like a kitchen sink. You're going to grab that countertop and you're going to sit your butt back and just kind of hang out here and stretch for a couple seconds. Your feet can either be stuck under your hips so you're sticking your foot out more, or they kind of walk in so you're kind of hanging out here. Get a couple deep breaths in and out, take two or three. With every exhale, think about relaxing even more. And then you can always come through and reset, shake it out a little bit, and then go for round two. Okay. So this is a good one to do to open up your back after sitting down for a long period of time, especially if you're working from home or if you're up and about just walking around and cleaning. That's what I like to do because my back sometimes hurts when I do that. So I'll do this to kind of space everything out and lengthen. And then we're going to do one more stretch by the doorway. So the last stretch that we're going to do, you're going to find a doorway in your house. You're going to take your hand, reach inside the doorway, and then you're going to just, again, sit back. You should feel a pretty good stretch through the side here. And look underneath your armpit, and that should feel pretty good. And again, holding it here for about 30 seconds or so, inhale, exhale. Or if you want to do just like 10 second intervals three times, that's fine too. Then come back up, and same thing with the other hand. Take it into the door frame, hold it there. I like to have my thumb down for this one, so your palm is down this way, grab the door, and same thing. So you should feel a pretty good stretch all through the underarm here and into the lower back. Hold that there for about 10 to 30 seconds. If you want to do 10 second intervals, you can do three, three sets of 10 seconds or 30 seconds, again, two times on each side. <laughs> Whew, I'm all loose now. So guys, if you have any questions or you want to know more, please go ahead and leave us a comment down below or give us a call at HealthFit. Thanks guys, have a great day.